Uh, okay guys, uh, in this video we're looking at something called solving indicial equations. Uh, that's equations with an index or a power in them. Uh, apologies for uh, the sniffles and the stuffy nose, I'm just a bit crook at the moment. So uh, we'll try to get through this video as quickly and painlessly as possible. Uh, first example, 2 to the power of x equals uh, 32. Okay, now you should remember that the really important thing to remember when you're doing this stuff is to equate the bases. That is, make the bases the same. So we have a base of 2 here, we have a, uh, a number here of 32. We want to make those bases the same. And we can do that by doing 2 to the power of x equals 2 to the power of whatever makes 32. Uh, that's 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Uh, that's going to be 2 to the power of 5. Now from there it's really really simple. If 2 to the power of x equals 2 to the power of 5, therefore x equals 5. That's really all there is to that kind of question. Uh, of course they don't they're not always that simple. Uh, let's take a look at another one. Uh, 5 to the power of negative x equals uh, 125. You can see that this question is very, very similar to this question, just that we have 5 to the power of negative x. Again, the way to go about it, equate the bases, equate the bases, we'll end up with 5 to the power of negative x equals 125, that's going to be 5 to the power of 3. 5 to the power of 3 equals 125. Uh, therefore, negative x equals 3. And we can multiply both sides by, one, uh, by negative 1, and we'll get x equals negative 3. Okay, so there's two really quick examples. We'll, uh, we'll keep going. Okay, uh, let's look at another one here. Uh, 3 to the power of x equals 1 over 27. Uh, now, this is a bit of a problem. It's just a little bit different to these ones. Uh, we can still do the same thing that we did before, equate the bases. I'm not even going to bother writing it in there. 1 over 3 to the power of 3. Now this is where a lot of us are going to uh, need to dig into our brains a little bit and remember that 1 over 3 to the power of 3. We can move this to the top of the fraction and we do that simply by making the index negative. So 3 to the power of x is going to be equal to 3 to the power of negative 3. So 1 over 3 to the 3 is the same as 3 to the power of negative 3. And finally, therefore, if 3 to the power of x equals 3 to the negative 3, that must mean that x is equal to negative 3. Okay, there's another one. Let's take a look at another one here. Okay, from here we can just throw little bits and pieces in here to make it slightly harder. Uh, something like 2 times uh, 3 to the x equals 162. Okay, it's pretty simple. Uh, 2 times 3 to the x equals 162. First, we'll get rid of the 2 times by dividing both sides by 2. 3x equals 162 divided by 2. Uh, that's going to be 3 to the power of x equals 81. From there, same old story, equate the bases. We've got 3 to the power of x equals uh, 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27. That's going to be 3 to the power of 4. Okay, and therefore, 3 to the power of x equals 3 to the power of 4, therefore x equals 4. Okay, another colour change, but for the colour blind, we're not going to see this one. 2 to the power of x minus 1 equals 16. Same old story, equate the bases. That means that 2 to the power of x minus 1 equals 2 to the power of um, 2 to the power of 4 which means that x minus 1 equals 4 and from there it's very very simple algebra that negative 1 moves to here and becomes positive 1 
therefore x equals 5. Okay, that's solving in DCL equations, five really simple examples. Uh, it's really time for you to give it a crack.